Hello. Um, oh, wow. Um, I've noticed that I'm, I'm kind of reinforced with sellotape, which seems a bit unpromising, but anyway. Um, I should apologise that the, the sort of main gift I've got from my father is a, a sort of dreadful nasal monotone. <laughs> which will make you all want to kill yourselves by the end of it. Um, and my book's about suicide. Uh, it's, uh, it was released in hardback with, with William Heinemann, uh, edited by Jason uh, a few months ago, and the paperback's out with Windmill next June. And uh, the hardback got lots of nice, kind of generous reviews in the, the broadsheets and the literary review, and most excitingly in FHM magazine. <laughs> Um, and on the basis of all that great coverage, orchestrated by Emma Finnegan, it sold at, at least six copies, <laughs> um, possibly seven. And I know I bought a few, and I managed to convince my dad <laughs> to buy one too. And he was he was banking on the paperback, so that was quite. Silly. Um, I actually think the FHM review. Emma pointed this out when she sent the email around with the FHM review, but. I think it would have had more impact if it weren't for the fact that it shared the page with a picture of a bum, <laughs> which was quite shapely and attractive and, and kind of bikini clad and covered in a, a magical dusting of golden white sand, <laughs> which I think distracted some readers from, <laughs> from the content and going to their independent bookshop the next day. Um, anyway, what's the book about? So, um, it, one of the reviews, and obviously, you know, you don't read your reviews, but um, <laughs> one of the reviews described the book as a kind of tragic comedy set in an office, and I guess that's a decent-ish description. Um, it's kind of about how well you really know the people that you spend all day sitting next to, uh, and who you complain about when you get home at night, and uh, who you flirt with at the office party um, that's held at a venue with a kind of playfully absurd name like the Crazy Cox. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you look up on Facebook the next day to just check what their relationship status is and that kind of thing. Uh, and it sort of, the narrative follows um, the fortunes or misfortunes of Joy Stevens, who's a lawyer in her early 30s who kind of seems to have everything, really. And, uh, and when she's delivering a speech uh, on the day that she's made a partner, that she's being promoted, she falls 40 feet onto a marble floor. And um, the narrative kind of pans out from that and is told from the perspective of various colleagues and friends, the people who <laughs> supposedly know her best, who all have a different perspective on the event and a different version of the kind of person she is, really. And in the process of telling their stories, they reveal a little bit about their own lives and the kind of gaps in their own happiness and the image of who they are. Um, well, one of the things that got me thinking about this book was uh, when I worked as a lawyer in the former life. And by the way, you did a brilliant impression of my mother-in-law there, Steph, where you said he left a very promising career. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, was, I was working with someone who I, I didn't know all that well, but kind of we shared a desk for a while. And he was there on the Friday, and then on, um, on the Monday morning he, he wasn't. And he either sort of committed suicide or uh, something else happened to him. And uh, it's sort of, I guess, even uh, removed from the event, not being a close friend of his, it, it really gets you thinking about how suicide is one of those things that's... Like the greatest of mysteries that really makes you wonder about um, who we are and what we're doing and what sort of person we are if we can't spot that someone else is kind of miserably depressed. Um, and that's it really. <laughs> <laughs> that cheerful note. And uh, the book's out in paperback in June. <laughs> and uh, hopefully shortly thereafter there's going to be a, a BBC adaptation as well, which they're working on at the moment, which would be nice. So thanks very much. <laughs>